Fabric, you can't move! Come on! Fabric! What the hell are you doing? Uh, Dr. Fabric, Mikos. get in there for Christ's sake! Ice is in trouble! Dr. He's got no cover to get in there, Maverick! He won't last down there alone! Get in the fight for Christ's sake! Maverick! <laughs> video um sorry about the the glare and the sun here we have my friend goose hi right, goose how are you what up what up what up we he owns uh goose performance and uh we're gonna go and do a quick uh uh focus on his instagram right there follow his builds and uh and uh he's got a lot of uh nice uh cars that he has i believe you said you have a zl1 as well zl1 Goose? i just bought a zl1 one le the track package wow that thing's, that thing's badass it gets it's, it gets it let hey man you got to bring that out and let me put it on my channel no we'll bring it out okay and just to let you know we're gonna put um goose's uh youtube channel on the description on my channel goose performance at, on youtube that's his channel and uh, we're kind of doing a quick collaboration here we're gonna show you a uh, what year is this Chevelle? this is a 71 71 chevelle malibu yeah chevelle malibu convertible man very nice clean and stock man as you can see that that uh, what is a pine green yeah i want to say it's 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 almost <laughs> that's funny i got a nickname for this car we call it the the drop guac the yeah. drop gu like, uh, guacamole, guacamole you know I... I mean? avocado so <laughs> that was kind of because it's actually got the black top as well so oh. it actually looks like an avocado when the top is up so we started calling it the drop guac. Oh, that's pretty good that's a yeah. pretty good uh nickname for the car yeah. i mean very nice red line tires on this color matched uh those are the rally wheels right yeah those are the stock rallies that came with it the, like i said the car is pretty original pretty all og um I, it came from arizona i haven't done too much to it the way it is is kind of the way i got it i did upgrade the stereo system put a retro sound system in there added some speakers kick panel yeah, speakers and stuff like that just to get a little bit more audio because nice. we actually drive this thing back and forth to cali a lot and it's funny, um, I think you, you interviewed my buddy, or actually you know my buddy Curtis, right. with the 67 Camaro. And if you look, now the car is not so so nice anymore because I got this bad boy here now. But that's actually how we met. Uh -huh. um, we were actually fan blade. The fan blade broke off the fan, went through the fan shroud, and damn near through the hood. Wow. Took the belt out in, in, in the process. So. We were stranded on the side of the road and uh, believe it or not, Instagram and the car guys must have met somewhere and said, hey, rescue Goose. And that's when Curtis came to the rescue. He actually saw our post on Instagram and he was like, dude, you need help? You broke him down. I think I'm like an hour from you. And he literally backtracked all the way back and came and helped us, bought the parts. We fixed it then and there, and that's actually how we met. It was crazy. Wow, well, that's an awesome story. There yeah. you go, guys. The car community holding it together for each other. I mean, that's a pretty nice car right there, but a great story behind it. And uh, so tell us what else. So what, what motor is in this? Uh, um, in this? Oh, original small block 350, nothing crazy. Um, I want to say, well, it's pretty much all original, other than a few things. Like, it's they upgraded the in tank manifold on it along with an edelbrock carb but the thing runs and drives like a dream it's perfect it doesn't smoke it's got actually on the way to the california trip we we're going to huntington beach and it actually we we're hitting hearing a weird like click 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 sounding like what does that sound it actually the odometer just hit thirty thousand miles on this thing oh on the my way up god thirty thousand original the original miles so we got a little bit more because we drive it now but on the way up to that cali trip if you check out the odometer, it actually has just a little over 30,000. Oh my God, let's go take a quick focus on that. I don't know if I can, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's 31,406 miles, man, original. 
Do you mind opening the hood? Can we see what's underneath yeah, there? Yeah, I mean the thing is filled. Like I said, it's it's, uh, it's okay. That's how you know we. And you'll see the you'll see the damage that we we're talking about here. Yeah, look at that. Oh wow, man, 350. You can see this is where it kind of popped up right, yeah, in there, right, right there. And then actually, this is the fan. I'm sorry, the belt. The, the belt. belt. Took wow. out the belt. And if you look here, look at the fan Ooh, trail. It's still busted. So this is a obviously an updated fan, but picture the old fan. It was all metal, so that one of the blades broke off and shattered Did through something here. Something seized. That's why the fan. No, I th I don't know. You know what? It's a 50 year old car. You know what I mean? And it, it looks like the original fan. I just think over time with the vibration and stuff like that, it just it was a must have been a crack in it or something. It just literally sheared off. 50 years old. And man. it went right through. But other than that, like I said, Tevis still has the original exhaust manifold. If you look at it, obviously. GM didn't really treat these and they're not galvanized or even powder coated or ceramic coated So that's that thing literally has the original exhaust all the way back where it turns into one solid exhaust it, It's nuts. So very nice. It's a really good good bar find I should say And such we a, got AC is this new or is this um, original? Uh, believe it or not This actually was installed at the factory as an add-in option like I actually, oh this is a 50 year old compressor yeah holy cow look how clean that thing is so it's i have the documentation actually the owner gave it to me where the the owner it was a lady came from maryland so she actually had all the documentation where she had the ac added and i actually pulled the ac unit out of the car it was one of those old style ac units that actually hangs underneath the car underneath the dash uh-huh so, cause this car was not a, a AC car from factory, it was heat only. So they added that, but it's but it was actually added by the dealership with paperwork. So. Oh, that's awesome, yeah. man. I mean, look how clean that compressor is and still working, everything's good? Uh, uh, they... No, like I said, I pulled it out just because, I mean, it was missing the fan belt and stuff oh, like that. Yeah, it needed yeah. to be and I just- Oh, okay, I do see the fan belt still not on there. Yeah. Now, can can we still use this compressor? You or? could technically, you just have to hook up back that AC unit, oh. but it was just kind of very ugly, bulky underneath the dash. I hear if we yeah. put AC back in, I want to put more of it, the vintage air where it's underneath oh. the dash, you don't ever see it. So. Oh, I got you. Yeah, for sure. But if you guys, if you guys check out the trunk. Let's um, look at the trunk. This is how clean this thing is, is the trunk. This thing still has the original stickers on the back of the trunk on how what? to use your spare. So oh my that. God, look how clean that, like is. that is. Oh, look, look, here's the damage from that. Oh, there's the, oh look. man, look at that. They still have it in the trunk. That's, that's what happened that right there. That is insane. That's it exactly really what happened. It really took the whole blade out. Yeah, it, it, just, it just snapped. And look at this, is like all original. All uh, original. Still. uh rust resistant stuff right that yeah. they spray on the car back right. in the uh, old days it's pretty like i said it's pretty clean you can tell the quarter panel's never been replaced so oh wow what car, a great find where did you find this car uh, arizona arizona arizona, arizona. we took Tempe? the one yeah um kind of phoenix area phoenix area yeah such a great find such a great very so nice man this is a beautiful, beautiful Chevelle, man. I got another one. So if you guys, like I said, I have actually like a Pro Touring style, twin turbo, LSX, um, 376, 6.2 liter Chevelle that I'm working on. It's a 70, so it's one year difference. So if you guys are interested in that, go check out the build at Goose Performance. Oh, there you go. Sorry about the noise, guys. The other car is starting up now. Uh, so check out the other build at uh, Goose Performance. And Goose, Hopefully you give me another chance to, to film that other car oh, yeah. as well. All day. All, All day. day, man. Look at that. So uh, oh. here we go. Two of them on here. We're just going to go and do a quick uh, uh, video while uh, while we're moving around Goose's car. Just remember, that's his Insta. So I'm going to take some pictures of your car do a little montage in the beginning and then we'll go into the video and uh it'll be on there uh sometime tonight and goose thank you for giving us the yeah, time thank you man I, I love like you know putting these kind of cars on my channel it really makes my channel feel legit man because these are real deal stuff and a real deal guy who does performance stuff at goose performance so uh guys if you like my content please uh uh subscribe have a great day